Hello everybody and I hope all is well. Today we're going to talk about how we modify a styles.css uh, file in Magento. So with Magento, uh, unlike WordPress, a lot of the themes that you get in Magento, a lot of the templates you get in Magento, don't have color customization in the administrative panel. So you have to actually go in and modify the styles.css uh, folder. Also, with WordPress, although it's not as, as, as common, but if you're using like WordPress or any content management system, sometimes that's the case with certain templates. But this is a common thing in Magento. So we're going to talk about how we modify this. And uh, in this case, we want to change this color to black. Okay. So to do that, we're going to need to use Mozilla, Firebug is the best option for this. So to get Firebug, step two, you just simply Google in your Mozilla browser, Firebug. And as you can see, it's the first result. And this right here is where you can install it. You can install Firebug the same way you would install like a plugin. It's just an extension of the browser, okay? Just like an application, okay? So now that we got Firebug installed, we click on it and then we make sure we click on inspect element. Now with Firebug, whenever you hover your mouse over it, it'll inspect the element. And whatever you're inspecting adjacent to this little like blue bar is the line of code of where it is. Okay. So in this case specifically, we want to change this navigation bar from green to black. Okay, just to sort of like match the color scheme. Okay. So we want to know where it is on the server, where what line of code it is on in that file in the styles.css sheet. Okay, so you hover over it and you just click on it. You see, and so it's going to tell you adjacent to this blue line, it's on line 754, and we have to find the color now. So this is where it is. This is what that color is, as you can see. In Firebug, you can also fool around with different color schemes to see what it looks like. We each settled on black, but this is just to give you a demonstration. See, you can have it any color you want. If you know your HTML color codes, we want it black, though, as you can see. Okay, so we want it black, just like this. Okay? So now we see what it looks like. Remember, <laughs> this is Firebug doesn't make the changes for you. You have to go on the server because when you refresh the screen, look what happens. And you deactivate Firebug, it goes back to green. So you actually have to go on the server. Okay, so once we inspect the element, we have to find the file path. Okay, Magento can get a little tricky because there's files all over. So you wanna make sure where it is on the server. That's important, where that styles.css sheet is. So if you hover over, in this case specifically, this is on line 754. If you hover over it like this and you right click on it, you can copy the location, okay? So that you have sort of like a path to find where this is on the server. So as you can see, it's right here, okay? So this is what we're gonna use to find the styles.css uh, uh, file, okay? Now that we've gotten that done, we need to go, now that we got that done, sorry, we need to go onto the server. So I'm using cPanel, okay? You can also, you can also use FileZilla if, you're, if you don't have cPanel. But if you're using a server like HostGator, um, if you have a host, uh, if you're using a host like Bluehost or uh, HostGator, they should have cPanel, okay? So once we do, to get to cPanel, we go store, whatever your store directory is, forward slash cPanel, whatever your uh, URL is for your store, sign in. We want to go to the file manager. This is a subdomain, so we just have to look for public HTML and then store. Okay, so if you have Magento just on your server, oh, sorry, on your domain, you don't have to go through that extra step. This is a subdomain, so... This is your Magento public HTML, okay? So now we have to file the configuration. Now we have to file the uh, directory path. So we have skin, front end, and default. Let's do that first. 
in your file manager, skin, front end, default, okay? And then we wanna to get to the theme. So in this case specifically, the theme is this mag and then CSS styles.css, okay? So we just follow that mag CSS styles.css, okay? Step number four is we want to download the styles.css and make a copy. So to do that, we just double click on this. If you're using, remember, Mozilla, which we recommend. I'm using a Mac, so what I like to do is just drag this over here and just replace that. You want to make a copy and you want to download it again, as I said, to make a copy. Put this right on the desktop. Okay. So we have a copy of both. Okay, so this is the copy just in case all else fails and this is the styles.css. Okay, so what you wanna do after that is you wanna open up your text editor. So we're using Text Wrangler, okay? So you wanna, we want to uh, make a copy and we wanna actually go ahead and open this in our text wrangler, our text editor. I use text wrangler. Text wrangler is open source and it's free. So feel free to download it, just Google it. Open it, open a file, and we're gonna modify the actual styles.css, okay? Now remember, when we go back to the site, Okay, to the site that we're, we're trying to modify this color here, you will know that it's on line 754. So with your text editor, you have to look for line 754. Okay, so this is line 754. Remember we said the color code is this, 7E, this little number here. So we wanna change it to black, okay? So we have to make that edit right here in the folder. So we have to find out what the HTML color code is for black. So in our open editor right here, we can find out. So black is zero, zero, zero. Actually, hold on. <laughs> HTML color code. I don't know if I'm off the top of my head <laughs> for black. Okay, so it's this zero 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 five one one two three six zeros one two three four five six all right so go here and then we'll go back to our text editor okay remember line seven five four and there's a color that we got from inspecting the element we know it's that color only one hashtag is needed and so we're done okay now we want to save Okay, styles.css, overwrite it. Okay, last thing we want to do, as it says in the instructions, is we want to re-upload and refresh. Okay, so now we go back to our file manager and we click on upload, browse, okay. Quit on me unexpectedly. You never want that to happen. Okay. Now you want to browse. You want to look for that file. So styles.css. You want to overwrite it because you edited it. You want to make sure it's called styles.css. That's important. Okay, if you have if you rename it anything else. Um, you're gonna have problems. <laughs> it won't, you won't see the changes. So make sure it's called style CSS. You want to overwrite the styles.css. Okay. So now you want to go back to the site. You want to refresh, and obviously it changed it already because when we opened it up, it refreshed it. So there it is.
That's how you modify a CSS file in Magento. Thank you kindly.